hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see if weathering waves is stuck on the loading screen it can be due to several reasons such as corrupted game files insufficient system resources or software conflicts here are some steps you can follow to troubleshoot and fix the issue guys the first step is to check system requirements. Ensure your PC meets the minimum system requirements for weathering waves. You just need to visit the official weathering waves site or game documentation for the minimum and recommended system requirements. You just need to visit it, system requirements and file size. Scroll down. You need to compare these requirements with your system specifications and make sure you have recommended device requirements. The second step is to update graphics drivers. Outdated or corrupted graphics drivers can cause loading issues. To update that, you just need to open the GeForce experience. For AMD users, open the AMD software. If you not have GeForce experience, then you just need to check my video description for the download link, guys. After getting download done, go to Drivers tab and select Check for updates. If you have any available update listed or here, then you just need to update it and make your graphics card up to date, guys. After doing this, just to close stuff here. The third step is to verify game files. Verifying the integrity of game files can fix any corrupted or missing files. To verify that, you just need to open up Epic Games, click on the three dot icon next to Weathering Waves and select Manage. Select the Verify Files, select Verify. Wait for it. After getting verified on, you just need to close it off here. The fourth step is to disable overlays. Overlays from applications like Discord, Steam or Nvidia GeForce Experience can sometimes cause issues. To disable that, first open up Discord. Click on the user settings. On left side, you just need to scroll down to the bottom. Select the game overlay. You just need to turn off the enable in-game overlay guys. Just to turn it off. After turning off, just to close off here. The second thing we need to disable in Steam, open up Steam, click on the Steam tab and select settings. Select in game. Enable the Steam overlay while in game. You just need to turn it off. After that, just to close stuff here. The third thing we need to disable in NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Open up GeForce Experience and select the setting gear icon. You just need to scroll down. You can able to see the option in game overlay. You just need to turn it off guys. After turning off, just close it off here. The sixth step is to adjust compatibility settings. Running the game in compatibility mode can sometimes resolve issues. To do this, open up Epic Games, click on the three dot icon next to the weathering waves and select manage. Select the folder icon to open up install location. In here, you need to scroll down. Right click on the launcher.exe and select properties. Select compatibility tab and check mark run this program in a compatibility mode for Windows 8. And select apply and OK for save changes. Now just close it off here. The seventh step is to update the DirectX and Visual C redistributables. Ensure you have the latest version of DirectX and Visual C++ redistributables. To update that, you just need to check my video description for the download link. Select the download option and download the DirectX. And another one is Microsoft Visual C++. Scroll down. Depending on what type of bit you have, select the link and download it. This is 32-bit link, guys. And this is 64-bit link. After getting download done, you just need to install these both application and after getting installed done, you just need to restart your PC guys. The eighth step is to check firewall and antivirus settings. Ensure your firewall or antivirus is not blocking the game. To check that, you just need to go to search menu and type allow and app through Windows firewall. Click on open it. Select change settings. Select allow another app. 
select a browser and you just need to go to local disk C program files epic games weathering waves double click on the launcher.exe and select open select add in my case I already added after adding it you just need to check mark the private and public in here just check mark the boxes and select ok to save changes the ninth step is to perform a clean boot a clean boot can help you identify if background services are the causing the issue to do this go to search new and type msconfig comes up with system configuration click on open it select the services tab and you just need to check mark hide all microsoft services and you just need to disable any unnecessary services starting in startup in my case i enabled nvidia services and vgc and anti cheat expert services you just need to uncheck other unwanted things and then go to startup tab and select open task manager in here you need to disable all startup items guys just right click on it and disable it after disabling it just close stuff here and select apply and ok for save changes and restart your computer and try launching the game by following these steps you should be able to troubleshoot and fix the issue of weathering waves getting stuck on loading screen on your windows pc i hope this video helped you guys if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you